Hi, my name is Tal and I'm a rising junior at Ramaz High School and for my intensive project I built a box with a lock that will only open if it hears the correct sequence of frequencies. So right now it's locked, like you can see it's not opening, um, even if I pull a little bit on it. So I'm going to unlock it quickly with the function generator and show it working. So right now I'm hitting the first frequency, now the second. The, once I hit three correct frequencies, this circle here spun, unlocking the box. And I also added a button on the side that when I once I close the box again, I can press it and it'll relock the box. The way the code works for unlocking the box is it follows the same format as it did in my last milestone when I was turning on LEDs instead of spinning a circle, where it looks for three frequencies that I chose and so once he hears the first correct frequency, it'll wait seven seconds to hear the second correct frequency, and if it does, it'll wait another seven seconds to hear the third correct frequency. And once he hears the third one, it'll spin the servo, unlocking the box. If at any point, while it's waiting to hear the next correct frequency, the seven seconds run out, then it'll reset and start looking for the first correct frequency. And so the way the lock is set up is what if the box is closed, this hook, would be under the peg that's attached to the servo, which and it would be locked. Once I hit the three correct frequencies, the servo spins and turns up, allowing me to um, open the box. And I hit, I have added a button, like I said earlier, where once you close the box again, you can hit the button and the servo will spin in the opposite direction, relocking the box. So some troubles that I had with this project were. The hook was too short, and so I had to get a little piece of wood to add so it would reach the servo. And also, once I stuck all my components down in this little compartment that I made for it, um, if I needed to fix any wiring or move things around, I needed to get this long pair of tweezers to move any wires around, which was a little bit annoying. And so, in the future, I plan on adding a rechargeable battery that I'm going to stick right here to power the Arduino and the whole mechanism so that I don't have to plug it into a wall or into a computer in order to power it. Um, that's my project. Thanks for watching.